How are you, sir? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. We uh, certainly want to remind people about heat injuries, heat illnesses. Yeah, it's going to be rough the next few days, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. What, uh, what's on your mind? Well, you know, we always want to uh, think about the, um, heat injuries and things like that when we respond from the fire department, uh, you know, with the ambulance. But, um, you know, we just want to make sure people are being safe out there and, and think, thinking about it when, before you go outside and do something that is uh, an overexert yourself that could cause um, heat exhaustion or heat stroke or something like that. And yeah, so, you guys do make a lot of medical calls when yeah, we do. temperatures get like this. Yeah, you know, and you know, it can come from uh, just as something as easy as somebody mowing their yard or something like that, and they've been out in the heat for too long, or maybe they're not drinking enough water, and they come a little, become a little dehydrated or something like that. And so, um, you know, what you what want to do is make sure that you're wearing uh, loose, light clothing. Don't wear the dark colors in the next few days, because that's going to make it uh, even worse for you. Uh, drink plenty of water. Um, take breaks often and go and sit in the air conditioning if you can. Um, and be aware of some of the signs, you know, if you start not, just not feeling good in general, you start feeling maybe sick to your stomach, uh, a really bad headache, maybe your, uh, skin gets really hot and, uh, and dry. You know, people, uh, often say that, uh, you know, when you stop sweating, that, uh, that's a, that's a bad sign, which, uh, it usually is. It means you're maybe really dehydrated or something like that, but, um, maybe your pulse picks up, you start getting that, um, uh, you, you're feeling like you're, um, you know, you're um, running a marathon or something. Your pulse is just um, going crazy. Um, go inside and take a break. And if you need to, call an ambulance. You know, um, we'll come and help you. But um, a lot of times if you just go in and take a break for a little while, um, it'll be okay. And okay. You'll start to feel better. And, and, you know, you think a lot about those who don't have air conditioning in this type of, of heat. What, what can we do to help cool off uh, in, in this kind of heat? Um, just drink uh, plenty of water. Um, you know, sometimes fans can help. They say fans aren't the answer because, you know, they don't really cool the air. They just move the air around, helps the, helps you, uh, your, the sweat evaporate off your skin a little better. It makes you feel cooler anyway, but it's not really cooling you down, uh, per se. So uh, it doesn't hurt for in the middle of the day, you know, go, uh, go to a store in town or something, uh, walk around for a little bit and, uh, you know, do some browsing, some shopping and, uh, cool off. Um, there are some other places in town. I know the, uh, the YMCA is always very welcoming for people to come in and sit down and uh, cool off for a little while. I'm sure at our police department, um, we've opened that up before for warming shelters. I'm sure they would be just as happy to do it for a cooling shelter um, to just come down there in their training room or something and cool sure. off. So um, you can find places to do that in town um, to go in and just cool off for a little while because that may be all you need for, for just to cool off and in the middle of the day and take a little break and, and then uh, you go back to your normal activities. Sure. Uh, you can go to the Strom Center, of course. Mm -hmm. That's another good one. Um, the thrift store at the Jamison Community Center. So there are certainly places, but you're right, just to get some of that air conditioning and cool cool yeah. yourself down, especially in the heat of the day. What, what part of the day are we really looking at that is the most... Uh, difficult. I, I'm not sure exactly, but I would say anytime between 11 and, th and 3 are probably the hottest time. The 11 and 3, 11 and 4, somewhere in there, were probably the hottest time of the day um, to, to uh, get out of that, get out of the sun for a while and uh, maybe find some shade or, or get into the air conditioning and things like that. And you know, something else um, we want to make sure of too is the, the animals. Um, a lot of times people um, leave their uh, dogs or uh, whatever it is um, chained up in the backyard or something like that. And may, they might not have shade uh, throughout the day. And so you want to make sure that they do have shade. Or maybe if you can bring them into the air conditioning, um, you know, during this heat wave that we're having uh, to get them out of that sun. Just so, they, you know, um, and they have uh, plenty of water to drink, too, because they're, uh, um, you know, they can dehydrate just as quick as, uh, you know, we can. And so... We just want to make sure you're taking care of your animals. Um, be very, very careful about taking them in the car and things like that. Um, you know, people and uh, pets or anything can overheat in a car in just minutes. It takes just a few minutes for that car to get up well over 100 degrees inside of a car. And so, uh, you know, be very cognizant of that when you go out in the, and you're running errands and things like that. If you have children or, or animals in the car with you, to make sure that you're, you're taking them with you when you go into the store and uh, not leave them in the car. Okay. I know our farmers this time of year, when it gets hot like this, they've got a lot of work on their plates because they have to keep the water going. And, and I can tell you the fish aren't going to be biting this week because the cows are going to be laying down <laughs> in the shade or right smack dab in a, in yeah. a creek bed, right? <laughs> right. Those cows are going to want to get in there and cool off. Absolutely.